Alright, Fishaholic fam, welcome back to another episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you're a first time viewer, my name is Rich. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And uh, for today's fishing mission, we uh, just fully loaded our kayak and uh, brought it to the shores here on the east side of the Indian River down here in Florida. And we've got a really hard east wind. So that's why I decided to launch in this spot today because if we were on the west side, it would be getting hammered right now by the wind. And uh, we're also uh, in an area that I've never fished before. So it's gonna be a very exploratory fishing mission today. And before coming here, I went to a spot to catch bait and we caught a bunch of beautiful little greenies, maharas, and uh, sand perch. So we're gonna hopefully put them to good use today. And the tide is just about starting to go out. So we're gonna fish the entire Entire outgoing maybe a little bit of the incoming but uh, I hope on the outgoing uh, by dropping those baits uh, down on some structure that uh, will get thumped by either some snook Jack Creval and uh, whatever else is willing to bite so let's get out there stay tuned and uh, hopefully it's a good day So to start, I'm gonna probably work my way to the south. And uh, throughout this area, there's a bunch of scattered little flats with like little cha channels that don't get too deep. It's like five to six feet in the channels. And then we have a lot of dock structure that uh, looks pretty good. And as we get further south, there is some docks that look to be in like some deeper water, like 10 to 12 feet. And those are like out in the main channels. And uh, there's a guy out there on a flat. Hmm. I just saw him catch a fish. I'm not sure what it was, though. He's just standing out there. Very interesting. I'm going to try just standing up and looking along this flat real quick and see if we spot anything. So we'll try throwing a bait out here too. Right here, I see something cruising. Could be snook, could be barracuda. Hmm. Didn't show any interest in the Mahara. All right, well, we just drifted probably like a few hundred, you know, three, 400 yards across uh, various different flats. And I saw like one or two barracuda, or maybe one of them was a small snook, but uh, nothing crazy here on the flats. So I'm gonna get out of this shallow water and out into the channels. And on the other side over there, we've got some nice docks and seawalls and some rocks that look pretty good. All right, I added a little split shot to our leader. And uh, right along this stretch looks as good as any for a place uh, to start hitting this hard structure. Right now I'm just looking real tight to the wall to see if I see any fish cruising in this little shallow spot. And then we've got this juicy looking dock with all these pilings and the current hitting it uh, on, on this side first and washing around it. Oh, there's some mullet right here. 
It's one like two mullet. Hmm. Let's cast this guy at the dock here. And I'm gonna put our drive in reverse so that we don't run into the dock. Nothing on the front side of the dock. My little Mahara is still kicking. Let's try the back side. Now that's the cast right there. I like how it gets even deeper closer to shore here and we've got these rocks right here. So it adds even more structure to this dock that could, you know, congregate fish here. Something's chasing them. I think I just got eight. Oh, that was weird. Something ate them and pulled them into a rock. Look, he got all beat up. Hmm. Maybe a moray eel or a snapper or a small grouper. All right, well, we just fished like 10 docks and only the one bite. So I'm gonna try something different now. I'm gonna put on this little float. And up here to the right we've got this nice seawall with a bunch of rocks and this point where the current's ripping around so i'm gonna try putting on a fresh bait and just drifting along this edge Oh, my bobber is gone. There's a fish. What do we got? Oh, it's a mangrove snapper. Decent size one too. This is easily 10 inches. So, I'll probably throw this guy in the cooler. All right, this guy bled out pretty quick. So I'm gonna throw him in the cooler. Here's a quick little measure that right there is 30 inches it's 40 inches so he's uh, about like an inch and a half over so 11 and a half inch keeper mangrove i'll take my little tangerine out of there so he doesn't get all fishy then i'll throw these ice packs on top of this guy All right, well, a uh, little update for you after throwing that mangrove snapper in the cooler. Uh, I just uh, fished this same spot for the last like 20 minutes and I tried to catch some more snapper. I was thinking, oh, like maybe we could get a couple more and uh, we'll have a pretty good dinner uh, for us for tonight. But uh, I just caught this little yellowtail and uh, had a bunch of other smaller bites that just robbed the hook. So uh, we're going to leave this spot and uh, we're going to head a little bit further to the south. I see um, some more docks down there and, uh, you know, maybe where they're positioned because there's like a deeper uh, channel down that way. Maybe 
there'll be uh, some more snook or some jack craval or maybe even some bigger snapper so uh let's go check it out and uh, i think i'm down to like my last like seven or eight baits and i had like two dozen maybe two and a half dozen so um we've been going through the the baits quick and i still got like three sizable greenies that i haven't tried yet and i think those are the only greenies that i caught today so i want to save them for a spot that uh i think has a lot of potential because then we'll hopefully get our best fish on them so let's uh keep at it see if we can find them These guys are like snook candy. I bet you this won't last five minutes. Oh my gosh. Big snook just cruised right behind the kayak. Oh my gosh, I got a piece of freaking weed on there. I just can't catch a break. Oh, dang. You know, sometimes when fishing, like if stuff's gonna go wrong, it goes wrong. Oh my gosh, at the wrong time, just two big jacks just cruised right behind me, like the snook. Oh, I think I just got eight. Yeah, something ate the bait. No, dropped it. Oh, there he is. What do we got? Little Jack, I think. Yeah. <sighs> kind of a shame he pulled me off my little anchored spot. Fish number two for the day. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna try tying off right here. try a greenie again we're actually down to our last three greenies and that's our last three baits actually so hopefully we can make them count Oh, look at that. Little Jack trying to eat my greenie. Don't really want him. Just another little jack. 
a little bit bigger than our first one though. <laughs> Come on, buddy, stop wiggling. Oh God. All right, well, we are out of bait. Uh, I fished for like another 30 minutes in that last spot where we got our second jack, and then I came back over to this spot here where we got our first jack and where we saw the uh, the big snook that uh, we missed. And I also saw two big jacks cruise by after we saw that snook. I'm not really sure if the camera captured it, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna add it in the video, but uh, it's given me a, an idea to go back to the north and see if we can catch some mullet and maybe uh, you know throw four or five in the well and uh, then drift them around or slow troll them or just cast them around and uh, see if we can get a uh, bit on those. So let's keep it going. Oh my gosh. There's a big fish sitting right there. I think it was a big snook. Dang. Oh, look at that. Three snook right here. Dang. Two more snook right here. Wow, I'm I'm seeing more fish of course now when I don't have any bait. Got some greenies here it looks like. Really small ones though. Oh, actually, that's a good size one. All right, I couldn't get any more greenies. And I didn't see any mullet, so I'm just gonna try fishing with the little bit of bait that I have. Oh, just got eight as soon as it hit the water. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, another little jack. Better than nothing. I was trying here with the bait because when we uh, were picking up the cast net before and I was going along here, I saw a couple snooks sitting close to the sticks. All right, let's try another one. This guy I'm feeling is gonna get me a snook. Saw a snook right there. Oh, we just ate it right there. Did you see that? <laughs> Boom. That was epic. I can't believe we caught this one right at our feet while he's ripping now. This little guy gets big, he's gonna be a hard fish to catch. 
he's got to be only like 20 22 inches and he's ripping like he's a you know a 30 inch fish Jeez. There he is. Eh, maybe he's a little bigger than I thought. Perfect hook set with the circle. And this one is a real short, girthy fish. She's definitely been eaten fairly well. And uh, she's actually probably like 25 inches. Like there's 28 right there. So yeah, probably like 24, 25. Sweet. All right, well, we are heading back to the launch. Fortunately enough, we were able to catch at least one snook today, but unfortunately we just fished for like the last hour in that same area with the last few greenies that we had. And uh, we couldn't get uh, the, any of the five or six snook that we saw to eat. So um, that's the name of the game. Some days, you know, the snook eat every single bait. Other days, like they're just extremely finicky and uh, it probably has something to do with time of day or the tide. And uh, I think if we got to that spot a little bit sooner and uh, you know fished it from the beginning of the outgoing all the way through, we probably would have uh, really whacked on them hard. But uh, we'll have to save that for another day. You know, knowledge that I learned today that's now stored up here. And uh, I also saw some fish holding in a, in a couple other areas that uh, I didn't really capture on film. So uh, you know that's gonna be saved for another video as well. So. Uh, I'm really happy with how the day went. You know, we got the mangrove snapper, a few jacks, and the one snook to end it. So uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to uh, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for more, and I'll put all my tackling equipment down below. And uh, until the next video, live to fish, fish to live.